Adira, 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 on the island so bright, with the Torah in her heart, she shines a light. Adira, 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 always happy and free, in a joyful adventure, we will be. Adira, 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 our island girl is here, with the Torah in her heart, she is so gay. Adira, 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 cheerful all the way. In an island paradise, we'll jump and sway. Adira! Kids, it's me, Adira, your Israelite storyteller, here to take you on another awesome adventure through the Holy Scriptures. For those who are new to my channel, welcome. Today, we are going to explore the amazing story of creation. So, hold on tight and get ready to be amazed. Hey Torah kids, before we jump into today's episode, I want you to meet someone special. Meet Ruby. She's a scarlet ibis. And guess what? She's a national bird of Trinidad. Ruby lives in the Coroni Swamp, and she's so cute. She loves munching on fish, insects, fruits, and seeds. Did you know she's about 25 inches tall and can lay up to three olive green eggs? Let's give Ruby a big hello. <laughs> Torah kids, are you ready for today's episode? We are jumping into the story of creation. Are you excited? Yeah! All right, let's get started. Let me take you back to the very beginning, where it all started. Now, in the beginning, Yah, our Creator, created the heavens and the earth. The earth was all dark and shapeless, with water covering everything. But Yah's Ruach was there, moving over the waters. Then Yah spoke, saying, Let there be light. Guess what? There was light. Yah saw how awesome the light was and separated it from the darkness, calling the light day and the darkness night. And by Yah's words, the first day was complete. How cool is that? All right, Torah kids, the second day of creation. Yah said, Let there be a space between the waters. So he created a big dome called the firmament to separate the water above from the water below. And by Yah's words, it happened. Yah created the sky and called it the Shamayim which is a Hebrew name for heaven. Can you imagine the beautiful blue sky we see above us? That's all part of Yah's amazing creation. And that's how the second day came to be. Now, on the third day of creation, Yah continued his amazing work. He said, Let the water under the sky come together and let dry ground appear. And guess what? It happened just like he said. The dry ground was called land, and the water he gathered together, he called seas. And you know what Yah said when he saw it? He said, It's good. 
Then Yah said, Let the land sprout with plants and trees, each producing their own kinds of seeds and fruits. And poof, just like that, it happened. Plants and trees started growing, each with their special seeds and fruits, exactly as Yah planned. And you know what Yah saw when he saw it all. He thought it was good, really good. And that's how the third day of creation ended, with evening and morning. Isn't Yah amazing? As the days went on, Yah was so creative. Torah kids, he made everything so amazing. On the fourth day of creation, Yah did something truly amazing. He said, Let there be lights in the sky to separate the day from the night. And guess what? It happened just like he said. These lights will also help us know when special times, days, and years begin. Yah made two incredible lights, the sun to rule over the day and the moon to rule over the night. And he also made all the twinkling stars in the sky. He placed them there to shine light on the earth and to help us tell when it's day and when it's night. And when Yah saw it all, he knew it was good. So, Torah kids, that's how the fourth day of creation ended with evening and morning. Isn't it amazing how Yah made the sun, moon, and stars to light up our world? Then came the fifth day of creation. Something truly spectacular happened. Yah said, Let the waters overflow with an abundance of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the face of the firmament of the heavens. And you know what? It happened just like he said. Yah created all sorts of amazing sea creatures, big ones, small ones, like fishes, dolphins, octopuses, and everything in between. And he made every kind of bird to soar through the sky with grace and beauty. When Yah looked at all the creatures he made, he knew it was good. Then Yah blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply, filling the seas with fish and the skies with birds. And just like that, the fifth day of creation came to an end with evening and morning. Isn't it incredible how Yah filled our world with so many wonderful creatures? But wait, there's more. On the sixth day of creation, something truly special happened. Yah said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures according to their kinds, cattle, creeping things, and beasts of the earth. And guess what? Again, it happened just like he said. Yah made all sorts of amazing animals, like lions, giraffes, cute bunny rabbits, and all the ones in between. When Yah looked at all the creatures he made, he knew it was good. But wait, there's more. Yah said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. And just like that, Yah created Adam and Eve, the first man and woman, in his own image. He blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and take care of it. Yah gave them all the plants and trees for food, and he gave every living creature green herbs to eat too. When Yah saw everything he made, he knew it was very good. And so, the sixth day of creation came to an end with evening and morning. Isn't it amazing how Yah made everything just right? In the next episode, we'll explore more about the story of Adam and Eve. So, get ready to be amazed. It's going to be awesome. Finally, on the seventh day, Yah finished all his amazing work. He took a rest from creating everything, admiring his marvelous creation. He looked around and declared everything very good. So, Yah blessed the seventh day and made it special because he rested from all the incredible things he had made. A world full of wonders, beauty, and variety, all thanks to our amazing creator. Torah kids, did you know that when Yah rested on the seventh day, 
It marked the very first Sabbath. Yes, as Israelites, we are commanded by Yah to keep the Sabbath holy by resting, just like it says in Leviticus chapter 23, verse 3. It goes like this. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest, a holy gathering. You shall not do any work on it. It is the Sabbath of Yah in all your dwellings. So, let's remember to honor the Sabbath and take a break to rest and spend time with Yah. Torah Kids, that's the incredible story of how Yah created the heavens and earth and all that is in it. One awesome day at a time. Hey Torah Kids, the book of Genesis taught us all about how Yah created the heavens the earth, and everything in them. Isn't that amazing? And remember, don't believe the stuff they try to teach you in school about evolution. Because evolution is a lie. All right, amazing Torah trained kids. Let's put your listening skills to the test. Did you spot those three special words with stars in our story? If you did, that's so cool! Those words are like special clues that will help you with the questions coming up. And guess what? If you need a little help, feel free to ask your mommy and daddy. Are you ready for the questions? You can do it! Okay, here's the first question, Torah kids. Who made the heavens, the earth, and everything in them? If you said, yeah, you're absolutely right. Woohoo! You did an awesome job. Let's keep going. Time for the second question, Torah kids. On which day did you create the sun, moon, and stars? If you said the fourth day, you're absolutely right. Amazing job! Alright, Torah kids, here's question number three. Which day did you take a rest? If you said the seventh day, you're absolutely correct. Way to go! Give yourselves a high five for getting it right. Alrighty, Torah kids. Keep those ears perked and those eyes wide open for this super important message coming your way. Are you ready? Yeah! Okay, here goes. Shalom Torah trained kids. Do you have an awesome pet that you love to see featured in one of my exciting storytelling adventures? Well, guess what? You totally can! Yeah! <laughs> okay, here's how you can make it happen. First, take a clear photo of your adorable pet. Second, share your pet's name with me. Third, tell me at least two favorite things your pet loves to do. And fourth, let me know your pet's favorite food. Send all this info to me, Adira, at TorahTrainKidsInfo at Yahoo.com. Your loving pet will be animated, and I'll be choosing a different amazing pet to star in each of my episodes. So, whether you have a playful pup, a cuddly cat, or even a little goldfish, don't wait. Send in your pet's info now and keep watching me, Adira, on the Torah Kids YouTube channel to see if your wonderful pet gets their moment in the spotlight. Shalom! <laughs> yeah! Wonderful Torah Kids! Wasn't that an incredible journey through the story of creation? I had so much fun sharing it with you. Remember to take a moment to appreciate Yah's amazing work and how special he made each and every one of us. Don't forget to join me for our next adventure into the world of Torah. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family 
and hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on another awesome true story from the Torah. Wow! Great news we've hit 1,000 subscribers! Yay! Thank you all so much for your amazing support. Your likes, shares, and comments mean the world to me. Thanks for being amazing, and I'll see you next time. Shalom!